Salesforce.com has many built-in workflow capabilities that can make your life easier, such as big deal alerts or escalation rules, uh, assignment rules on leads. But sometimes you may want to create your own workflow rules to make your life a little bit easier and automate mundane, everyday tasks, or maybe even make your sales team even stronger. And today I'm going to create a quick workflow using the Enterprise Edition that's going to allow me to track a competitor and maybe assist my sales reps when they're meeting a certain competitor in the field. So in order to create workflow, I'm just going to go into the setup area and into create workflows and approvals. And I'm going to go in and create a brand new workflow rule. Now, before you create the workflow, it's a good idea to go through understanding workflow. If you have questions, simply go into help for this page and it'll walk you through that. I'm going to continue on to build my first workflow. When I create a new rule, the very first thing I need to do is to select the object that I'm going to be working against. In this particular case, because I'm going to be dealing with competition, I'm going to look at the opportunity. Now, this will work, of course, for any object you create in Salesforce. And I'm going to call this my competitor rule. And I can determine when this rule will be evaluated. Now I'm going to select the default, which is when the record is created or when it's edited and did not previously meet that criteria. In other words, if I go in to update my opportunity and I put a competitor in, this rule will fire. So now I need to determine my criteria. Now I'm going to run the rule if the following criteria is met, but I can also create formulas. In this case, I'm going to go into my opportunities and I'll go to my competitor field and I'll say that if it equals and in this case, I'm going to say if we're competing against competitor A. So this is just a pick list that exists on my opportunity page layout. So I'm going to go in and select competitor A. Now once I'm ready to go in and uh, determine what happens, I need to evaluate what my rule says. So I can see here the opportunity is when the competitor equals competitor A. Now I can add a workflow action. And the actions are creating tasks, email alerts, field updates, or I can even create outbound XML messaging to go to external systems. Now I'm going to go in and say I would like to send a, a new email alert. So we'll just call this uh, competitor a email. And I'm going to base this on a template that I've created where I can now go in and select that uh, new template that I so I have my new cheat sheet here I can select that email template and I can determine who is going to receive this particular uh, email template so I can say that a particular user is going to get it I can assign this to account owners teams in this particular situation I'm going to send it to the owner of the record because I would like the opportunity owner to be notified I can also determine five additional hard-coded emails if I would like so now that I've created this workflow, I've set my criteria, I know what workflow action I'm doing, I'm ready to uh, run this workflow. Well, bear in mind, you can also determine things like time-dependent workflow. So if I wanted a workflow to be sent out, for example, adding a time trigger, I can say that uh, maybe 15 days after that rule fires, I would like something to take place. In this case, I can now add another action. So I'll go in and just say, all right, I'm going to assign a new task. And this task is going to be assigned again to my owner. And what I would like the owner to do is to follow up the competitive info. And I can say, once this rule fires, I'm just going to give it one day and I'd like to notify the assignee. So now I've created two separate workflows to fire on this one event. We have a competitor A. I'm going to evaluate that criteria, automatically send out an email based on a template, and 15 days after that fires, I'm going to send out a task to make sure that they follow up with that competitive situation. So how does this look within Salesforce? Well, before I'm ready to run this workflow, I need to activate it. So you can queue up a series of workflows before you want to actually activate them. So I'm going to set my default user here.
and we can actually enable email approval responses and that's for the approval processes later on. So now that I have set this information, I can now go into an opportunity and I can go into my new competitor field, I'm going to select competitor A and hit save. Now immediately at top you'll notice that my uh, inbox has a new email how to compete against competitor A and it personalizes it for me. It looks like I'm competing against competitor A today. Here are some websites, some internal presentations and I will automatically be notified 15 days from now to follow up with this. So creating these workflows is a very simple process. The same goes for setting up an approval process which I'll cover at a later time.